Team 1652 here. I just wanted to post up our design that we have for the minibot and the progress we have made over the past two days of working with this design that I came up with. All credit goes to, I forget what team, but uh, we modified it for our own use. We're still working on it. But this is what we got so far, okay? It's actually posted up on my bed post here. Uh, my bed post does increase its width as it goes down to the ground from the top. But uh, it works on the regular cylinder pole. Let's see if I can get a close up here of it. This is what it looks like, okay? Just uh, a two, uh, two wheel design on an axle. You got the battery park mounted on one side and the motor on the other side. Now the theory is, by physics, the heavier side will be on the lower angle and the lighter side will be on the topmost angle. So uh, yeah, along the way, we first started out just originally with the axle and the two wheels. And I tried to use physics to make it lock. So that didn't work out too well because both sides were evenly weighted. The weight was distributed, uh, distributed over evenly, and the wheels were not locked. So what I did was I mounted on the motor and uh, put on the battery pack on one side and decreased the how far I had spread the wheels. This is all within diameter right now, except this excessive piece right here. I'm not sure if we want that yet. But originally I had this wheel all the way over as far as I could within dimension. And uh, that didn't work out so well, so I closed the gap, so it was almost a tight fit on the pole. But you have about a quarter inch tolerance between it. Now, it, the problem I had then was, it wasn't quite locking the way I wanted it to. So, messing around today, instead of having the battery pack mounted on top of the motor, we put it to the right side on top and it now locks without me having to put a shaft through the tire. Um, now the new f problem I've come up with is while in testing I noticed that it had a tendency to lean uh, in the direction away because if you see here it's kind of offset. That motor sticks out and the weight is not distributed evenly on the axle alignment so to combat this which is still designed we have a tail section. Now I don't know if I'm going to make this part longer, and I'm not sure if we're going to make it rounder so we can go on the pole. The theory is, if we have a tail section here, this will prevent it from wanting to run off. And now if I can make it rounded so it can fit around the pole, then it has a better chance of gripping the pole as well. But that's still in testing. Uh, Today, we try to get these wires resoldered onto the motor. I uh, can't really see, but the job is not that well done. We didn't have the proper solder, so we're going to fix that tomorrow. And then we're going to go ahead and play with the battery pack, uh, charge it up, see if we can get it up the post. A-OK. -okay. The goal is uh, four seconds or faster. So, uh, and the deployment of this thing, we we figured a pneumatic arm, just pushing it out will do it. Uh, we haven't really gone any further than that. It's just been a challenge to get the robot going now. Uh, mini bot design too. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll take this out so you can see my design a little bit better here. Alright. Now, uh, the gear is not finalized. Right now, I got smaller gears, just a neutral system. It's not compound or anything. Let's see if I can get. Uh, to stay still here. I apologize about the quality. Now the gears are the same ratio to each other so it's neutral. Uh, I chose to go with the smaller one because I think speed is more of an essence than torque since we only have 10 pounds to play with and uh, one square foot. We use zip ties to mount on the battery pack just put it through those holes. Okay. All right, now uh, the motor is mounted on just like regularly. Uh, it's kind of a challenge to tighten these, but it works. You can see, uh, you can see how I mounted it on the tail on. It's just two screws, two nuts, two washers. All right. 
Uh, this thing was uh, not fun to make. It was lots of trial and error. We had at least two or three designs prior to this before I took it up. Uh, we were going with an arm and elbow joint system like thing. That was over complicated. The springs were not working. Just too many variables. It, it was not simple. This is just simple physics. Alright, and it works. Now it's just the fine tuning details. Get up the post. Make it drive straight. Get it up fast. Then get it back down. Uh, pushing uh, four newtons of force on a bun while going upright. That's no biggie for this thing. It's going to fly. That's my prediction. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned.